Dermal fillers are used mainly to replace volume. Although they're called dermal fillers, they're not actually used in the skin. They're used nowadays a lot deeper within the cheeks, the temples and the tear troughs. The tear troughs is an area just below the eye where if they're quite hollow looking can make patients make you look tired. Many people come like yourself to see me asking whether dermal fillers are going to be suitable for them. In order to assess them we do a half an hour uh, filler assessment and examine the whole of the face, hear what the problem is, find out whether it runs in the family, ask you to bring along photos of what you used to look like and then ex examine involves touching the face. I have to actually feel around the bones, the fat pads, the tear troughs to see where there is descent of the face and volume loss. I can then advise whether dermal fillers are suitable for you. Very often they are and we're using a lot more dermal fillers now than doing surgery. About five, seven years ago we, we would be offering lower eyelid surgery and cheek lift. Now we have a lot more we can offer using dermal fillers such as Restylane with Lignocaine, Restylane Perlane with Lignocaine, Juvederms, Juvederm Voluma. There are lots of different fillers which are best for different parts of the face. Technique for filler is also very important and if you're considering filler around the eyes it's a very good idea to go and see somebody who knows the anatomy extremely well such as an ocular plastic surgeon. Here at Clinica London we have two ocular plastic surgeons who do filler treatment around the eyes, the cheeks and the temples. Myself, Jane Olver and Brian Leatherbarrow. We've each got several years experience of this area and we both do treatment with cannula. So my treatment with cannula means that I can deliver the filler to the required areas using just one single little entry point, just there. And from there I can reach the tear troughs and reach the parts of the cheek that are descended and atrophied and it has a very low rate of bruise and of course much less discomfort.